Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel, everybody. I am the host. My name is Catherine. I'm here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. And we are in the extended Cancer. So let's get right into this energy. So, Cancer, this person wants a second chance with you, but how do you feel about this person? Um, why did you leave this person in the first place or did this person leave you cancer? We never did get clarity on that. So we're going to get some details on that situation, cancer. Um, and we want to know if you're going to give this person another opportunity. Now, those of you who do cancers, what is going to happen? Is this person going to make right with this opportunity and are you going to have a fresh start with this person? Are things going to turn around, Cancer? Or are you going to um, have some sort of issue with this person again? Um, those of you who don't, Cancer, and choose to go on your own direction, are you going to be finding true love elsewhere? Okay. And... Um, is this person going to move away in peace, Cancer? Are they going to let you go towards something new? Um, and what does that final outcome look like for you? So let's get right into it, Cancers. So let's go ahead and... Pull some oracle around this energy cancer um, with the question in our minds of how do you feel, okay? How do you feel about this person? Even though they want a second chance with you, how are you feeling, cancers? I'm just going to pull some oracle around this cancer and then we will clarify with the tarot here. How does Cancer feel about their person? Holy Spirit, angels, and God. My life is not together as it seems. I feel like Cancer, the fact that you're even asking this question is um, something as that's an issue for a lot of you. Us Cancers are really tough cookies. Okay, and when we let someone back in, sometimes we tend to overthink a situation or to question ourselves. Um, you know, like, why are we doing this, Cancer? Um, if they were gone for a reason, then perhaps maybe they should be staying gone. And this is the question that you are asking yourself. Tell me more about cancer, please. I want to feel that way again. So I feel like there's an energy of you used to have it all together, cancer. Um, you used to have all the answers when you made a decision. That was it, cancer. You were a tough cookie. Very confident. Um, didn't take second guesses, you know. Um, and in this case, I feel like you you wish you were that same confident person that didn't second guess your decisions, didn't go back and forth on um, on your direction, Cancer, and what your what your choices are here. So I feel like there's a bit of frustration coming from you, Cancer, um, as to why you're even entertaining the thought. But for those of you Cancers who do decide to give this person another opportunity um, that, you know, this could be an issue here. So Cancer, why did you leave in the first place? Or did your person leave you? Let's pull some energy around that Cancer. Why did you leave this person? What was it that this person did to cause you to leave cancer? Huh. Well, 
we have I can't stop thinking about you and I want you and I'm feeling there's an energy cancer of someone who I feel like this person was um, entertaining third party energy cancer or having thoughts about someone in an inappropriate way um, to the point where it got physical like this person actually started going after a third party cancer it started off just thinking about this person but then it moved more into them actually wanting to be with this third party So, Cancers, are you going to give this person another opportunity? I wish I had treated you better. Tell me more about Cancer, please. Tell me more about Cancer, please. I feel like you're feeling guilty, Cancer. Yeah. We will be together again. I feel like you feel guilty um, because this person is going to come back really apologizing to you. With I can't stop thinking about you, I want you, I wish I had treated you better, we will be together again. I feel like this person is like really love bombing you cancer to the point where you just kind of give in to this person you're already weak here cancer because you're questioning and asking the questions here um and this person is going to come in really apologizing for what they did to you and yes this person did step out on the connection i am saying that but we're going to go ahead and clarify we're going to use this deck here cancer tell me more about my life is not as together as it seems what is this energy for cancer please my life is not as together as it seems Oh, wow. And we have number 13, Cancer, the death card. And this is an energy of someone who is um, needing to let go of the past or needing to move on to, to something new or needing to transform a thought process, Cancer, and pick up a new thought process. I feel like there is an energy of this person is just very insecure um, and needing to let go of the past cancer. So we have the nine of wands here. Yeah, this is an energy of someone who's stuck in the past cancer. They are holding on to um, this baggage from the past or whatever it was that happened cancer and they're feeling guilty like you're you're feeling guilty tell me about I want to feel that way again I feel like this is you wanting to be your old confident self cancer and you have the five of wands Aries Sag Leo energy and Cancer, the Five of Wands is a very aggressive energy. It's also an energy of someone who, um, like if this person has a difference of opinion, they don't mind expressing it, Cancer. It's a little bit of an argumentative energy, but a very sassy, very fiery energy here. Under the deck, you have the Ace of Cups. 
this person is wanting to go back to that cancer they're wanting to um they wish they could go back to their old confident self again like they want to have a new start cancer but they want to do it as their old confident self tell me about i can't stop thinking about you and you have the five of swords this is a conflict here cancer this represents a conflict between um two or multiple people here and i feel like cancer there was someone who was um having a an emotional uh connection or cheating emotionally with someone to the point to where they started really wanting this person yeah under the deck you have the four of pentacles like this was a secret this was a secret this person was keeping this to themselves they were secretly thinking about someone else cancer five of swords also talks about competition here tell me about i want you tell me about i want you please and we have the eight of cups cancer i feel like you walked away from this person or this person walked away from you thinking that they wanted something else okay something else caught their eye cancer and they went towards this um but this hurt you cancer and you have the knight no 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 sorry cancer this is the page of cups this is the page of cups and this is an energy of someone who either cancer um is very sorry and apologetic i feel more so an energy of someone who's very sorry um more than someone who's just not they're acting like they didn't really do anything wrong um but this person does feel bad cancer with that eight of cups and the page of cups they're coming in to apologize here tell me about i wish i had treated you better And you have number 17. This is the star, Aquarius energy. This person is coming in with the hopes of um, apologizing to you, Cancer, hoping that this is going to get you to let your guard down and let them back in. And we have the Eight of Swords under the deck. This person is trying to get through, um, get past all of these swords, Cancer. You are definitely blocking this person, but they are trying to make their way back. Tell me about we will be together again. Well, way too many cards popped out, so we won't take them. We will be together again, Cancer. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. And we have the Five of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This person, Cancer, is feeling the grief of this loss. This person is feeling very let down um, that things didn't go the way they wanted them to go or cancer either you're feeling bad or feeling sorry for this person under the deck six of cups all day you are feeling bad for this person cancer and they are coming in wanting to reconcile with you and they're doing this through making you feel guilty so for those of you who actually do go back cancer how are things going to go? How are things going to go? Tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about cancer. We have I like you in the reverse, cancer. Someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. 
Cancer, I feel like there's an energy of when you go back or those of you who do go back and choose to stay longer with this person, you're going to stay and find out something about this person that is going to cause you to regret your decision. And you are, you're not going to like what you find, Cancer. You're not going to like what you find. Give us another one for Cancer, please. Tell us more about Cancer that choose to stay. Karmic relationship, Cancer. This could be a karmic, someone who's here to teach you a lesson. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. I told you, Cancer. So this is an energy of you are going to go back and realize that you are finding yourself sitting with a karmic cancer, a karmic, and not in the good sense of a word. This is somebody who is going to teach you a lesson here. They're going to teach you a lesson. What's going to happen, Cancer, when you go back? What is going to happen? What is this person going to do? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Cancer. Mm. Yeah, see, we have mask and we have heartbroken Cancer. Not showing true feelings, hide, personality, pretend. Delude gaslighting cancer, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. So this person, cancer, is putting on a mask and a front to get you to come back, cancer. Um, you were on the right path when you were going your own direction and going and moving and doing what's best for you, cancer. Um that seven of pentacles though something got you thinking cancer maybe you felt guilty because you put so much time and energy in the relationship that you didn't want to end it under the deck you have boat receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure to issues so i feel like cancer you are going to be getting on a boat um, you are going to be getting all the answers that you need when you go back because you're going to end up getting your heart broken again with mask cancer you're not going to see this coming um, this person is doing a great job of gaslighting you um, but cancer you are going to be able to find closure. But let's go ahead and look at the tarot here. To use a different deck. Tell me about I like you here for Cancer in the reverse. Tell me about I like you in the reverse, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and God. And we have the Ten of Cups here. The Ten of Cups, Cancer. Um, you think that this is your 10 of cups cancer, like you are very much emotionally connected to this person. You feel like this is a soulmate here under the deck. You have the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy and cancer this could represent an energy of there being third parties here in this connection um because this is someone who is emotionally stable but then we have this three of pentacles coming through here Tell me about this karmic relationship, Cancer. Tell me about this karmic. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. 
Yeah, you have the Emperor in the reverse, Cancer, Aries energy here. And this is someone who is um, pretty much losing control in the connection. This person is all over the place. Um, they're out of control. Their emotions, Cancer, they do whatever um, they feel in the moment. Cancer, they have no regard for others. They feel like they're justified here with this emperor energy, but it's in the reverse, Cancer. So just a very nasty, very dominating energy here. Under the deck, the page of pentacles. Cancer, that page of pentacles represents someone who is making plans. And I feel like there's an energy of this person wants to be recognized, Cancer. They want the attention to be on them. Yeah, you're dealing with a karmic cancer who is, um, they're not used to not getting their way, okay? The emperor always gets their way here. Tell me about the mask here. This person is, like, going to start gaslighting you, cancer. And we have the ace of cups. Like, let's start over. Give me another chance. I love you so much. Just throwing all this love towards you. I feel like this person is going to be um, just kind of blowing your head up, Cancer, not really being honest about their true feelings here. Page of Wands, because this person, there's something this person wants to do. And they're trying to get you to hurry up and make this decision, Cancer. Tell me about Heartbroken, please. Tell me about heartbroken. What is this person going to do, Cancer? And we have the star. Aquarius energy. Under the deck, the two of cups. Cancer, you are really hoping um, to heal this connection with this person here. Um, with the two of cups here. And I feel like Cancer, with the Three of Wands here and the Five of Wands, Cancer, things are going to take a very quick turn in a completely different direction. Um, and you're going to find that this person is involved with multiple people here. Multiple people here, Cancer. Tell me about boat. I feel like this is your energy, Cancer. I wouldn't be shocked if the Six of Swords didn't come out here. Tell me about boat, please. And we have the Five of Pentacles, Cancer. This person, like you are walking away. You are going to be realizing um, that you have to do what's best for you, Cancer. That Five of Pentacles talks about somebody walking away. Somebody leaving, isolating, walking away from a situation. And the Ten of Pentacles underneath the deck, Cancer. You are walking away from this connection because it is not serving you, Cancer. You are an Empress energy here. And with the Judgment card here, Cancer, you are evaluating your purpose. You are abundant, Cancer. And um, you're moving away from this energy here. Because you can do better. You can do better. Um, let's look at the energy behind those of you who choose to move in your own direction and not go back. What is going to happen in that situation? Because there are some of you who are not going to fall for this person's tactics here, Cancer. Tell us about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, and guides. 
Tell us about cancer, please. Okay. So we have hammer and we have talking in the reverse. Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. And then we have talking in the reverse cancer. This represents someone who's interested in having more conversation, awaiting messages, arrive, text, call, email, hovering. And this is in the reverse cancer. Um, this is an energy of somebody who is sabotaging somebody's efforts to come through and gaslight their way into situation cancer. Like this person is being persistent and they are trying to talk you in to a situation that you know better than cancer. You know better than this. Um, but you're, you're going past this cancer. You're smart enough and strong enough to see through this person at this point. Um, and some of you are just in an energy where you really want what you want. And so you see what you see, what you want to see. Tell us about cancer, please. I want to know what this person is going to do. How is this person going to react to you walking away? We have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. And we have abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Yeah, this person is love bombing cancer. This is what this person is going to do. Um, it's going to be a little disgusting for you, cancer, because again, with hammer and talking in the reverse, like you are, you are definitely dead set on the fact that you're never giving this person the time of day again. You don't want to see this person's face. If you do, you might want to get a hammer cancer, <laughs> cancer, not to be uh, violent here, but it's just, you're not happy about this person. Therefore, you're not receiving whatever they're trying to throw your way here under the deck keys on a ring. This talks about many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Keys on a ring, Cancer. Basically, I feel like I see you taking your key off or their key off and giving it back to them, Cancer. I feel like you're making the decision to do what is best for you. So let's clarify. Let's use this deck here. <sighs> Tell us about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about hammer. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about hammer. And we have the three of cups. Underneath the deck, you have the moon. So this is an energy of someone who is wanting to get you out in public, wanting to have be sociable with you, Cancer. But with that moon energy, I feel like you are definitely um, hiding away from this person. Um, this person is not able to really get to you. And, you know, they they want to. You're not speaking, though, to this person. We're talking in the reverse. Tell me about talking in the reverse, please. Look, look, Cancer. I can't make this up here. Seven of Wands and the Seven of Swords. You are blocking this person, Cancer, because you don't trust them. You don't believe a word that they have to say. You're not listening to them. They don't know what you are up to. You don't care what they're doing. You are moving away, Cancer. Page of Swords under the deck. This is someone who is asking questions, trying to figure out where you are. Why won't Cancer talk to me? Why is Cancer blocking me? Why won't Cancer believe me? Why won't Cancer just listen to me? Not happening. With kisses and abundance, this person is coming heavy and hot. Tell me about kisses, please. Tell me about kisses. Mm. 
Yeah, that went in the reverse. You have the five of pentacles in the reverse. And Cancer, you saw the five of pentacles on your energy here with that ten of pentacles. When you made your decision, you made your decision here. But this person here is wanting forgiveness here. With kisses and five of pentacles in the reverse, they are coming in and offering physical affection or attention, Cancer. But with that five of wands under the deck, you're not having it. You aren't having it, Cancer. Um, it's like this person may be kissing multiple people. It's like you don't want to have anything to do with it. Like you don't know where them lips have been. You don't know where those lips have been, Cancer. So you're not feeling it. And when it comes to abundance here, keeping a positive mindset, manifesting what you want, gratitude and bliss, we have the Queen of Swords, Cancer, that came out. The Queen of Swords. Like you are not trusting anything this person has to offer. You don't want it, Cancer. You've been there, you've done that, and you don't want to have any part of it. Four of Wands under the deck, like in the Justice card, Cancer, this person could be offering marriage. They could be offering, um, you know, everything you ever wanted here, Cancer. But with this Queen of Swords energy, you are wiser than you used to be. You have learned lessons here with this Justice card, Cancer. Um, this talks about karma. This talks about karma. Tell me about keys on a ring. Uh-oh. We got temperance in the reverse, Cancer. Sagittarius energy. And this is someone who is going to an extreme to let someone know how done they are. This is someone, it's either all or nothing, Cancer. And in this case, you have chosen nothing, Underneath the deck, Nine of Pentacles, Pre-Empress Energy. You have chosen to be independent. This is you going back to being independent, taking care of yourself. It's either all or nothing. Either you are going to give me everything, full commitment, or I don't want anything from you. That is the energy, Cancer. So let's see, Cancer. Um... If you are going to find true love here, let's see. Is Cancer going to find true love? Now that you've stood in your power here, what is next for Cancers and love? Holy Spirit, angels and guides. So we have, I know I crossed the line with you. And then we have, I hid who I really am from you in the reverse. I feel like cancers, this is a time for you to get your confidence back. Be unapologetic um, with, I know that I crossed the line with you. Um, you went too far with this person. You gave them too much of your energy too quickly. Um, with I hid who I really am from you, Cancer, I feel there is an energy of, you know, your true confident self. You let that go and you let your guard down with this person. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I feel like there's an energy of knowing that this person used you, um, cancer, um, almost like a crutch. Like this person has some issues, I guess. This person has this energy where they can't, you know, be in a committed relationship without having third parties. I don't know. There's something that this person is dealing with, but they need to heal from this. But Cancer, you crossed the line and you went with this person anyways, um, even though this was not who you are. So I do feel a strong energy of you wanting to be on your own for a while. 
look oh my goodness you got the seven of pentacles in the reverse cancer this is someone who is ready to throw in the towel like they are not getting the results in in being in a relationship right now it's just not what's in this person's um it's not on their menu right now cancer it's not um this person is shopping for appetizers right now i feel like and you, there's that empress coming through cancer you are abundant you um can take care of yourself cancer i feel like you have everything that you need and want you don't you just don't need to be in a commitment right now tell me about i hid who i really am from you in the reverse And you have the Ten of Cups, Cancer. I feel like this is an energy of someone who is emotionally secure. Emotionally secure, Cancer. And you let that down. You let that go. Or you were vulnerable to this person. Ace of Swords underneath the deck. This is a truth here. Cancer, I feel like you're going to be communicating um, honestly with this person. And telling them how you truly feel now. This talks about a truth, Cancer. Tell me about, I know I was a distraction from your pain. Three of Pentacles and the Hierophant. This is an energy of someone, Cancer, who um, was learning uh, a huge lesson, Cancer. A major, major lesson. Um... And you were helping this person, Three of Pentacles. It's almost like you were a counselor for this person. But this person has other issues, Cancer, that you can't fix. Under the deck with the Ace of Pentacles, um, there's just an energy of you moving on towards something new. Something that is long term. This was not something that was meant to last, Cancer. Let's pull an oracle before we close this out, Cancer. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about Cancer, please. Cornucopia, number 11. Cancer, I feel like this was definitely a twin flame here. Cut away what is no longer needed for you, number 9. And you have 9 and 11 here. I feel like this is something that you need to do urgently, Cancer, um, and to cut the string because this is not, this is karmic energy. This is not twin flame soul tie here. This is twin flame karmic here. So you learned your lesson, Cancer, and now it's time to move on. I love you guys so much. I hope this message resonates with one more all of you. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.